Welcome to another car vlog, and today we're talking about something a little bit different than usual. I'm in my garage, and speaking a little bit more soft than usual because the sound of in this house is absolutely horrid. But if you, as you probably saw from the little flyby a minute ago, we're here to talk about a car that's not my truck, because my truck does not have black and metallic wheels on it. We're talking about this guy. Now, if you remember from way back, when I had about 10 subscribers, I made a video called GM Someone's First Car, and that was actually my face reveal video, and we're back in that same exact spot with the exact same car, the 2005 Spectre Flat Hatchback. Now, this video is basically kind of something I hope that happens, there's no guarantee at this moment, um, there's no confirmation this will happen, but there's a possibility that Kia will be rejoining my so-called fleet of vehicles. And um, the reason for that is mainly because I did write a, a kind of like a persuasive letter, this kind of signature of mine. Whenever I want to try to convince my parents something, I will write a letter about it instead of talking about it uh, face to face. Um, I'm, I'm usually able to get my feelings across better by writing than by um, than by talking, but. Um, so there's a possibility that the Kia will rejoin my so-called fleet as a import car that will serve as kind of a fun day kind of thing. Um, I mentioned it a few times in previous videos I wanted to get a two-car fleet done and I had been searching on Craigslist and stuff like that for cars and I was really like, wait a second, there's a car in our garage that no one has ownership of. Um, and I decided, well, why not give it a shot and try to talk my parents and letting me have it still. Let me keep the car. That's kind of something I can take the import line, mod the mess out of it, get it fixed. Um, as there are a couple things that are wrong with the car still. Uh, of course, right now it needs a battery, and it needs a motor mount still. We got one replaced, and needed two to be replaced. Um, let's talk about the car aesthetically real quick. Very dirty, very dusty. Has a flashlight on so you guys can see a bit better. Um, of course, still the kind of faded red paint. It has not been washed in almost about nine to ten months. Um, it's also got covered in cobwebs, all that stuff. Um, the wheels are really the only thing that appear to still be clean. As you can see, there's dust and dirt all over the hood. Let's pop open the door and hop in. It's been a long time since I've even opened the door to this car. Oh, so low sitting. But yeah, you know, the car is still aesthetically the same it was nine months ago. Uh, Five-speed manual. That's, this is basically the reason I, I don't drive it as a daily driver, is because um, I have timing issues, if you don't know, if you didn't watch any of my other videos that I mentioned it, or read the about section, I am minorly autistic, and as such, I don't know if it actually is a trait, but I do have very poor, like, um, kind of in-sync movement, I can't really um, dual fast very well, um, so driving and doing that constantly is annoying um, with me, it doesn't really function well. But the reason I want to keep this in the fleet is so I can stop getting crap from kids at school. It's very rare I get this kind of stuff where kids are like, oh, you're not a real car guy because you don't drive a manual. Uh, so I want to get this car redone, um, you know, keep it in the fleet, I guess you could say, and use it as a second car. So I can still have a car that shows I'm a true car guy, even though it is a, not something like a Honda Civic Si or a uh, Golf GTI. Uh, it's a Kia Spectra. But... There are things you can do to this car to make it more my kind of taste. By that I mean K20 swaps, um, turbochargers, as electric superchargers available for the engine at this moment, but I'm definitely not going there out of read a lot of bad things about it. Um, as I said, everything in the, the car's battery is completely dead, which is why you don't see any lights at all in here. Um, the car itself is a great vehicle, and I really hope I can keep it. It's got the leather steering wheel. It's faded out pretty bad. This car has done 11 years of service to my family. has 202,000 miles on it. Um, and if I try to turn on headlights, of course, nothing happens. It's wired up for a stereo. It's wired up for underglow. Um, and it's got all the equipment it needs, really. Uh, in all honesty, this is actually much better equipped at electronics and... Um, part wise in my truck because it's got power mirrors it's got keyless entry it's got um it's wired up for the stereo it's an upgraded sony head unit of course um it's got much better storage um the gear shifter does need to be replaced really this little bit up here um i want to get that done soon uh, if i do get to keep the car um because 
this is uh, it feels awkward in your hand but yeah you get the, get the gist of things I want to keep this car uh, so the plan is right now to talk to my parents a little more over the time being uh, I may start monetizing videos now I mentioned this in the discussion video yesterday um, that I may go to monetizing videos to try to get at least some money together to uh, work on a project of some sort and the project is actually this I want to get this car ready and going again in my name you know as something I can take on the roads uh, and drive without having to get any legal trouble uh, such as insurance and I want to be able to get the car fixed so I'm not afraid to drive it and I can actually learn and be okay with it the motor mount is okay I can drive without it but it'll just tear the other one back up that we fixed so it'll be more expensive in the long run and I'd like to get that fixed but um, as long as I'm able to keep the car, you know, I'll keep you guys updated over time. Um, but for the plan right now, it's up in the air. I really hope that I can keep this car as it has been influential. Uh, 11 years of service, as I said. Um, and it's just an all-around awesome car. So let's go ahead and hop out and head over to the back end of the car. So... It's a bit of a mess in the garage, so getting around is a little difficult. As you can see, there's no plate on it. Um, we had to turn back into plates. The other thing I really want to do is get the car either wrapped red again or resprayed because this paint is absolutely horrendous. Uh, you probably saw it on the hood, but you can definitely see here the paint has faded com almost completely off this boiler here. Um, still completely dirty, as I said. As if, was it, like, if I get confirmation that I can keep it, I will pull it out of the garage and wash it. Um, by pull, I mean push it because like I said, battery is completely dead. Um, faded on the little thing there with the badge. Structure 5 badge. And this is actually the Steeler sticker from Kia of Arbor Place in, Mary in uh, Powder Springs, Georgia, I believe. And I, I'll be wrong. Um, but it's still on after 11 years. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's the plan right now. It's up in the air, like I said, but I do tr plan on trying to convince my parents to let me keep this thing because I do want something I can take to import along while at the same time having a truck that is 100% capable that I can use to haul when I need to be. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this car vlog. Um, I'll probably have another vlog coming out soon, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.